brings a great championship to an end to become the youngest ever champion. It's a long time ago and, and realising your ambitions to be world champion, um, playing at the Crucible, which is a venue obviously that you you grow up when you're playing snooker, your ambition is, to, is first of all just even to play at the Crucible. Um, so to win my, my world championship there, obviously, there is, is a great memory. The first time I won the world championship, I lost the following year to Steve James. Uh, I'd won, I think, four or five titles that season and really didn't expect to lose at Sheffield. Lost my crown, which was devastating. And then, obviously, losing the last frame to Ebden was uh, something which I still have nightmares about. But uh, mostly, mostly good memories. There's one place I know how to win, it's here. Um, and last year I got to the quarterfinals, narrowly missing out to, to get to the semis. The longer I'm in this tournament, the better I play. It happened in all the, all the championships I've won. Um, usually start off quite slowly, and each round pick up a bit of confidence, pick up a little bit of momentum. I obviously haven't got the form uh, guide behind me that, that some of the, the, the favourites have got. You know, I've not got any wins to sort of back up any claims that I'm going to win the World Championship, so I certainly can't be bombastic and say yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to win it. All I can do is, is, is take one match at a time and, and know that the longer I'm in it, the better I'll play. Um, so hopefully if I'm here in two weeks, I'm going to be playing great snooker. So first things first, round one, and it's Zhang Anda, the 18-year-old that Stephen faces. Let's get into the first frame then. Zhang slightly ahead here by uh, eight points. And Neil Folds and Clive Everton, the men in the commentary box for this one. I'm not sure that uh, Zhang played the right shot, actually. He wasn't well on a colour, even if he'd potted that red. And he was always leaving a pretty easy one if he didn't. Five. Six. And like you say, Clive, I think the early frames here will set the standard in this match. No. Stephen does get away from Zhang early, then it could be a comfortable win. Twenty. Although Hendry's long potting isn't what it was, his short game 
when he's in round the pink and black is as good as it ever was. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Oh, definitely a bad contact. Stephen, not asking for the cue ball to be clean, though. asking now, bringing Brendan Moore into action. Brendan Moore officiating because Terry Camilleri can't get off uh, the island of Malta, where he lives, because of the air traffic restrictions. 37. Forty-four. Closing in on the frame then is Stephen with the red and the black, <coughs> leaving his opponent requiring a snooker. Forty-five. And immaculate. 52. Hendry has been in this break. 53. Zhang let him in for this break with a rather dubious shot choice. Six. Stephen Hendry, 60 in the first round. So with that 60 break, Stephen Hendry leads Jean Lander by a frame to nil. So we've not had a chance to properly see what uh, the Chinese teenager is made of. I wonder if you'll get more of a chance in the coming frames. Frame two, and Hendry slightly behind here. 